I've always been interested in people participating in their urban environment. Even though I'm trained as a designer, I always realized that it was the operation of the urban environment which made all the difference. The Public Laboratory for Open Technology and Science is now a global community of around 600 people. We collaborate together for the goal of community environmental science. The first full-scale deployment of grassroots mapping happened right after the BP oil spill. People wanted to get this information out because airspace had been closed below 4,000 feet. That's normally how members of the press would go out in airplanes and capture exactly these same kinds of aerial photographs. I supported them remotely while everyone on the ground in New Orleans was out documenting their fragile wetland ecosystem both before, during, and after oil was making landfall. These images became maps and were distributed into the public domain and picked up by media outlets all around the world. We have a lot of projects going on here in New York focused on highly impacted urban waterways, the Gowanus Canal project has started with the Gowanus Canal Conservancy, an incredible bunch of neighborhood residents and landscape architects who are out trying to transform the entire watershed around the canal. We have the Environmental Protection Agency uh, who has declared the water right behind me a Superfund site. We are having introductory conversations with the EPA, exploring you know, how we could add in data to any environmental evaluation or monitoring that they may be conducting. One of the things that we're interested in doing is filtering the water that comes down by creating a park all around the edges of the canal to prevent sediment and pollutants from running into the canal. When you wanted to find out data, you go to the government and they give you an aerial of the neighborhood but we needed something that was much higher resolution. We tied a digital camera to a kite, sent it up, took as many pictures of it as we needed, and this allows us to track the new planting that we're putting along the edges of the canal. People are going out almost every weekend and capturing imagery. Now that such a wide area of the Gowanus watershed is being imaged, that systemic patterns of surface pollution are being revealed. We can feed that data back to the state and we use their data because we have local knowledge that is specialized. They have the systematic knowledge that can tie it all together. Whereas before, communities may have only been able to express themselves anecdotally or worse through complaining. Now they are able to issue a data set. This is what I meant. This is what I saw. Most broadly, I'm excited for our data archive. There is a interoperability between what we're accessing in terms of open government data and then what we're providing. I really see that revolutionizing um, along with all the other amazing projects in the space, you know, how citizens and governments are able to work together.